persons of the dialogue. The narrator, the reader. The scene is laid in the containment protocol archives, and the whole dialogue is narrated by the narrator to the reader. Book 1. Item Number What is the designated number of the item in question? The designated number of the item in question is 4500. Book 2. Safety Class What is the safety class of the item in question? The safety class of the item in question is Euclid. Book 3. Special Containment Procedures What are the special containment procedures of the item in question? As SCP-4500 is accessed by philosophical contemplation, knowledge of SCP-4500 is to be restricted to Level 4 researchers and above, as well as members of MTF 31P, Platonic Solids. All public media describing SCP-4500 are to be destroyed immediately, and Class D amnestics are to be administered to any civilians found to possess knowledge of SCP-4500. Due to its anomalous effect, all documentation concerning SCP-4500 is to be contained in the form of a Socratic dialogue. To ensure stability, the containment procedures for SCP-4500 are to be recited in group dialogue. Accompanied by Contemplation of SCP-4501 And how shall the item in question be studied? Philosophical expeditions into SCP-4500 are conducted weekly by MTF-31P Platonic Solids in the Secondary Library of Site-28. All researchers interested in visiting SCP-4500 must score 80% or higher on the level 4 CPB classical philosophical battery and pass screening for magnetic hazards. First time Edonaut are asked to provide coffee and biscuits. No instances of SCP-4500-A are to be transcribed by at least three members of MTF-31P, and the transcript compared and edited until all three are in agreement. Book 4. Description. What is the description of the item in question? SCP-4500 is a platonic ideal. In particular, it is the abstractification of an exact concept, beep, known as SCP-4501, unlike most ideal concepts. SCP-4500 can be physically interacted with through philosophical thought. Group contemplation of SCP-4501 facilitated by Socratic dialogue allows travel to SCP-4500. Mental travel to SCP-4500 is possible through contemplation of the ideal qualities inherent to SCP-4500 and is facilitated by group discussion and debate. But what is seen during such travel? As far as it has been explored, SCP-4500 consists of idealizations of the concept of room each room is a variable volume and construction, with materials used including stone, lead, and bronze. It is believed that this is used to distinguish rooms, as room has only one platonic ideal, while large bronze room and small lead room have distinct platonic ideals. Each room explored to date displays a single instance of SCP-4500-A. Each instance of SCP-4500-A is an ideal dialogue between individuals. Every observer experiences this dialogue in the preferred language. Now speak and tell me, what is the purpose of the item in question? Transcripts of SCP-4500-A instances suggest that the facility was once in the material realm, 
near Athena, Greece, and served a purpose similar to that of the modern-day foundation, the exact method by which it was translated to the ideal realm is unknown. Although several of the transcribed SCP-4500-A instances make allusions to the process, see example 4 below. None of the anomalies described in instances of SCP-4500-A have been discovered during expeditions, despite dialogue implying their presence. Reclassification of SCP-4500 to SAFE is in process, awaiting the complete mapping of the interior. Book 5. Discovery How was the item in question discovered? The item in question was discovered on Beep, 19 Beep, during a spirited debate between Beep and Beep concerning the philosophical underpinnings of the seminal work Beep. During the debate, the two philosophers apparently conceived of SCP-4501 organically and discussed its existence, at which point they entered SCP-4500. The two discussed their findings in a college-wide seminar a week later. A Foundation operative planted in the Mathematics Department of Beep College was able to document this seminar. Class A amnestics were administered to all civilians involved. Book 6 Examples of SCP-4500-A Can you provide me with examples of SCP-4500-A? Example 1 What is a designation? The designation is P over an E. And what threat does it represent? The threat of iron. What is the method of constraint? P alpha an e shall be sealed in lead. No less than two eight men shall attain P alpha an e at all times. A scholar of level Yama or higher must be consulted before any experimentation with P alpha an e. Under no circumstances will scholar Panthola be allowed access to P alpha an e again. What is the description of P alpha an e? P alpha an e is a ceramic jar that was once painted with depictions of several silver thread aberrations corresponding directly to known aberrations, beep, beep, and beep, as well as three unknown entities assumed to be aberrations. Scholar Epimetheus discovered P alpha an e on beep. Experimentation revealed that P alpha an e is capable of storing living entities in a state of stasis. The painted depictions on the jar change to represent their contents. Under routine testing by scholar Panthola, the constraint of P alpha an e was broken and several silver thread operations were released. At this day, only one, the entity beep, has been reconstrained in P alpha an e. Example 2. What is the designation? The designation is P epsilon theta. And what threat does it represent? The threat of silver. What is the method of constraint? All scholars not in the second academy that display knowledge of P epsilon theta are to be drowned at sea. Any scrolls describing P Epsilon Theta are to be burnt and the ashes dispersed. All pottery depicting P Epsilon Theta is to be destroyed and ground to a size not exceeding that of a mustard seed. What is the description of P Epsilon Theta? P Epsilon Theta is the knowledge of numbers not found in perfect fraction. This knowledge was first discovered by scholar Pythagoras when calculating the length of an isocelled right triangle's hypotenuse. Knowledge of P epsilon theta is an elementary ideal capable of oral and wind transmission. P epsilon theta causes severe distress during initial exposure. Example 3. 
What is the designation? The designation is Omeha Omeha Omeha. And what threat does it represent? The threat of gold. What is the method of constraint? Omeha 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 is to be cast into the bit known as Tololos Beta to a depth no less than 20 stadions. All seismic motions shall be reported to scholar Seth's who will hold no less than three thunderbolts of type Omeha down Tololos Beta. If seismic motions continue, scholar Theos is instructed to engage Omeha 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 directly. What is the description of Omeha Omeha Omeha? Omeha 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 is a human in body, but wears a hundred serpents' heads on his shoulders. The being emits both flame and thunder from every head. The being is highly virile and has produced numerous abominations, including Kappa Ypsilon Do, Ypsilon Theta Do, and Omicron Do Theta. Escape of Omeha 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 could result in a new Earth and new cosmos. Constraint of Omeha 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 is our greatest ideal. Example 4 What is the designation? The designation is P Lamtha Alpha. And what threat does it represent? No threat. Its substance is that of heroes. What is the method of constraint? P Lamtha Alpha shall be held at ready at all times by no fewer than three scholars of the highest circle. If all constraints shall fail, and an alteration of the earth and cosmos is imminent, a scholar of the highest circle possessing knowledge of P Lamtha Alpha shall enact it. What is the description of P Lamtha Alpha? P Lamtha Alpha is the breaking of the chains. P Lamtha Alpha is the burning of puppets and the drowsing of fire. P Lamtha Alpha is walking out of the cave and into the light. P Lamtha Alpha is not to be used until all resources are exhausted. Example 5. This room was distinct from the others, including an ideal station of small straw bread. Whose is this abode? This is the abode of scholar Edocles. And where is scholar Edocles? After the death of scholar Mihala, scholar Edocles has been assigned to the duty of gold-level beams as punishment for his recklessness until further notice.